Hi, in today's video, we're going to go over five pros and five cons of living in Philadelphia. Okay, so you're thinking about moving to Philly. I'm going to go over the pros. Okay, number one, the history. Philadelphia is full of, of historical sites. We have the Declaration of Independence that was signed here. We also have the Liberty Bell, and we have so much more that you can real that you know you can tour throughout the city and see different things. We have a lot of firsts. We have musicians that was born and raised in Philadelphia, and we also had you know a lot of other folks that had came through here, like with artists, chefs, uh, men. Uh, we have so much here. So that's just the history. I'm just touching the iceberg. <laughs> Number two is we have, is the art. We are known for our art. We have the Rocky Steps in front of the, uh, the art museum. Well, I guess now it's considered the Rocky Steps, but it's the art museum where you could see everything down Penn, uh, Ben Franklin Parkway to City Hall. And we, we're just so rich in culture and art. We have the murals all throughout the city so that when you're driving down or just breezing through one of our many neighborhoods, you'll more than likely see a mural and a wall. And very breathtaking to see that there's still a lot of art and a lot, and you know, it's like one of those places where, you know, art is still alive in our city. We bring throughout the throughout the seasons in Philly. Number three, it's a cheaper cost of living, and compared to and you know for somebody that that lives here, there is, you know sometimes the things things tend to get a little bit expensive, but when you compare to from Philadelphia to New York, D.C. parts of Maryland, we're pretty affordable. We are a big city, but we also are a smaller city within, you know, compared to other major cities nearby. So our cost of living, so when you're moving from, if you're moving from a northern, from a different state or a different area, people are often shocked as to see how, you know, our cost of living is, things are very affordable here. Four, our fourth pro is we are Philadelphia is centrally located. You can easily get in and out of the city to either New Jersey or Delaware or even New York or Maryland. We are extremely close and you know we have access to trains, uh, buses, and the highways just takes us in and out. We can, but you can get easily in and out of the city and you can get to where you wanna go because our main, one of our major corridors is either 95, I-95, or 76, depending on where you want to go. Our food scene and restaurants is a different stuff from either sushi or have one of our famous cheesesteaks. We are known for our cheesesteak. Okay, our cheesesteaks are crazy. So I get most of my cheesesteaks from the corner stores because they're just better than some other establishments but sometimes but we are known for our for our cheese steaks and we have different restaurants that are really amazing and have great atmospheres there's northern liberties you can go and try food from you can have also have like and i'm just naming different neighborhoods between fishtown northern liberties uh brewery town center city uh maniunk and so much more. There is a lot of places to go when you just want to get a quick bite to eat. On is pollution. We are, this is a major city. This is a metropo major metropolitan city. So we have a lot, a lot of light pollution. So I know I'm talking about, but yeah, of course it's like, you know, you're in a city and there's like a lot of lights. You're not going to be able to see the stars. If you're coming from an area where you get to see the stars at night, you're not going to see that many stars out here in Philly at night because we have a lot of light pollution. And also to pertain to our pollution is that we also have a lot of trash. 
there are people that will throw their trash out in the middle of the street when they're driving in a car. And sometimes our streets are dirty, but you know, the city is doing all it can, is doing, we're getting better with our cleanup and pickup. We have major campaigns for cleaning up um, Philadelphia. So we're not necessarily the cleanest city where it comes to trash and pollution, but we're getting there. Yay. Okay, PPA means Philadelphia Parking Authority. They are no joke. When you, you could get, a, they ticket you if you park in in a landing zone, of course, and you overstay your welcome. And they're actually pretty brutal because sometimes, especially in places like downtown or even other places in the city where, you know, a lot of people come in and out and they have different parking issues. Some places you can't park there for longer than two hours, two or three hours. And unless you have a permit. Yes, we do have permits in at Philly, but it's only for certain areas, depending on where you where where you are. Now, in now PPA, yeah, as you've seen us on parking rules, we're very notorious about our tickets and our towing and our booting. So, PPA is not the greatest, and be careful when you and we do have a lot of red light tickets cameras. So. Yes, if you know that when you're about to go come up against a, tick, uh, a red light camera, once that thing turns yellow, be prepared to stop because you will get a ticket in the mail about a month or two afterwards. <laughs> so PPA is no joke. And the signs are horrendous when you're parking. It's sometimes you have to read it like, two, three, four times to make sure that you can legally park there. So parking is not always the greatest, but that's only in certain areas. The city, we have taxes. Our taxes, we have different taxes compared to like any other parts of the area. We, Philadelphia is a county in and of itself when you're in Philadelphia County, the city of Philadelphia. And the city wage, we have Possibly, we have like three different taxes. Okay, we have the city wage tax, which is if you were either a work in the city or if you live in the city and you work outside of the city, you still have to pay a city wage tax. And that can vary. There's also the soda tax, which is you can't really buy sugary drinks within the city unless you're and you're going to get ticket you're going to get a tax on top of it so if you're going to mcdonald's and you're thinking about buying a dollar soda uh and you're expecting to pay a dollar eight for it you're going to be paying an extra i think 30 cents or 50 cents because of the tax uh, and that's just the way, that's just the city's way of trying to gather income to, and also to stop people from drinking sugary drinks. Now, the only drinks that don't apply is water and naturally, like if you get in an orange juice or an apple juice, like natural fruit juices. But if you want to get a soda or a flavored drink, no you're gonna be paying a tax within the city limits. Number, and also our sales tax is different compared to the counties surrounding us. So the counties is about 6% sales tax and the city is 8%. Uh, and we, and you know, that's a little bit more, but the city is, we have, and that's how, just how the city runs its business. Okay, is the weather. Oh my gosh, the weather. Today, and we are right now in May of 2020 in the middle of this quarantine. And we had some really abnormal hot days. And then we also go to, then today in particular, it is really cold. It's colder than, than it hasn't been. So in Philly, it either gets way too cold or way too hot. There is real, there's not really that much in between. So 
Yeah, so yes, we do get we get really really cold winters and really hot summers. And I'm gonna say this attaches to the weather is snow and side streets. Okay, so in Philly, when it snows and it snows really bad, we have parking chairs. So if you have a if you park your car in front of the house and you shovel yourself out, you can put, you put a chair there where you where you parked, where you shoveled yourself out. So that anybody knows that there were that that's not a free spot. So or if there or if there or if somebody does move your chair or move your bucket, <laughs> people put stuff there and park there. Be prepared to get your tires slashed or windows busted. <laughs> we are very serious about our parking chairs. We are. So, yes. And also with side streets, which can also, when it comes to snow and wintry weather, when it's snow, those streets are not going to get plowed right away. So be prepared to have some slick streets if you're going to side street. They're not always the greatest, but you know, we all get through it. We have our ways to manage. Okay, so those are my five pros and cons. Now, I'm gonna give you some bonus pros, and some just right in the middle as well. The thing, things that are also great and also can be also a con of Philly is that our property taxes are extremely low. You could pay anywhere between a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars, depending on where you are in the city. So if you're in a, if, because Philadelphia County, the city of Philadelphia, which is a county in and of itself, is spreads, is a bigger, it's, it's a bigger m municipality. So we, and when we have a lot more homes, which is more denser, our property taxes tend to be lower. And now, even though our taxes are lower, our home prices are also a lot higher compared to the counties, so compared to the surrounding counties. Whereas, so you get high, you have low property taxes compared to higher sales price. So the high, so you're, you're paying more for your home in the city then but you're being you're basically paying less in taxes whereas when you go out into the counties outside of the city limits you'll be paying more you'll be paying less in property ta in in a property home in a home you'll be paying for less home you'll get a bigger home but i should say the price of the home is lower but your property taxes are are higher so that's kind of like a pro and a con of philadelphia now, a pro and a con, another one is our subway system, our, our public transportation system. It's okay. I personally drive everywhere. So, but you know, we do have two subways, which is the Broad Street Line and the Market L. In the Market Frankfurt, we call it the L. And we also have a lot of buses and we also have trains and like regional rail, trolleys, and um, buses, of course. So with our buses, we will always use our, so, you know, it could be easy. Our stuff is not as complicated as say New York. Like if I was to go to New York, I would not know where out to read that because you guys have, because New York has a lot more into it. However, in Philly, our stuff is a little, is not as complicated, but you know, we do, we are, we do have a, you know, a good subway system, but also it could also be a con too, in a way, because if you need to go somewhere where there's not a bus stop or something, you gotta have to catch an Uber or find some way. Yeah, because there's a lot of activity coming in and people are coming in from all, from the surrounding cities. Uh, such as New York, DC, places in Delaware, New York, New Jersey, things are starting to get a little bit more expensive. <laughs> so Philly is a great place, but you know, things tend to be a little bit more expensive than what it is compared to the taxes and whatnot. But other than that, 
those are my pros and cons in living in Philly. Now, if you have any questions and want to learn more about Philly, feel free to subscribe below. You can also feel free to give me a call or you could email me at one of the links below. Thanks and I'll catch you on the next video.